Well, hello, welcome to this talk, uh, DDD OpenStreetMap uh, 2D and 3D Render Tool Chain. I hope you are doing well and enjoying it. My name is Jose Juan Montes. I'm a software engineer from Galicia, Spain, and the developer of the tool I'm introducing today. I've been recently working on a tool that generates 3D models from OpenStreetMap data, and I'd like to share the, some of the results and the status with you. Um, I was building this tool for our game, Your City Racing, which is what you can see now on the screen. And this is an adventure racing game which will allow players to drive around cities based from OpenStreetMap data. Um, we plan to build several European and American cities initially, and in the future, we'd like to allow players to choose any location they like. We plan to make your city racing uh, available for Linux, Windows, and Mac. So, if you like the idea, please follow us on Twitter and help us spread the news. Back to the story. Um, a few months ago, I was working on a hobby project, a um, tool which uh, simplified the task of programming procedurally generated 3D things. And I meant to use this to generate uh, very simple 3D scenes for games like this one. Um, this was one of the first scenes produced uh, as a proof of concept for a simple crazy golf game. So you can, for instance, grab a CSV of the periodic table and quickly program the generation of uh, a 3D scene like this one. So, uh, this experience um, allowed me to quickly prototype a generation pipeline for OpenStreetMap data. And this is what I came up with. Um, and fast forward a few, few months, and today this tool set looks like, like this. At the bottom of the stack, we have uh, this 2D, 3D generation tool called the DDD. And it's a Python package built on top of uh, well known libraries such as NumPy. Shapely and TriMesh, among others. So, um, what can we do with it? Um, we try to be um, quite representative at ground level. So, this includes generating sidewalks with curves, uh, irregular ground and park areas, um, having some model variety, trying to align objects like benches sensibly represents traffic signs, traffic lights, business signs, urban props. So, um, currently all the stuff is procedurally generated, which means that we can support tags like surf surface materials, height or width for stuff like trees, lamps or benches. Um, we also aim to create correctly snap geometry, including tunnels and bridges, um, so they can be effectively used, for example, in the context of a physics simulation. Um, we can easily style different elements in both 2D and 3D stages, so this allows the DD to output vector or raster files with the 2D representation along different stages, as you can see here. Um, you can then inspect the generated files. The DD aims to maintain full OpenStreetMap to 3D traceability. So for every object, uh, way or piece of geometry, we can see the metadata, um, OSM ID, OSM tags, and also the generation process data, or the backing full process. And I'd like to show you a couple of examples of customizations to the pipeline that have been written with just uh, the first one is the integration of auto photos uh, using them as textures laid on the surface surface area and they are dynamically retrieved from a WMS service and in this case they are um, used to replace floor textures and the next one is a um, mapillary integration um, here we add a couple of steps um, here we have a few examples of the vector output uh, um, first process with uh, Inkscape. Okay, so wrapping up, this is the current list of features that, of the DDD 
OpenStreetMap map pipeline. So what is this today? Um, well, um, the software is not quite mature enough, uh, and the API is not fully consistent, so it's expected to change. Um, but I think that this tool and the paradigm may be useful in areas like infographics, civil engineering, architecture, games and simulators, artificial intelligence. So let me know what you think. I do not currently have a Patreon page, but I do plan to look for patrons or parties interested in sponsoring this development and the related services. Uh, anyhow, if I wish to be able to, as soon as possible, publish a basic online viewer uh, service that allows people to navigate at least a set of predefined areas. And in the end, I'd like to see an infrastructure with uh, global coverage. Following your city game Twitter account or buying the game when it comes out also helps. Um, that's all. Thank you very much for your time and I hope you liked it.